Stimulus programs such as the American Rescue Plan Act and the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act provide a roadmap for resilient recovery efforts, and communities are using Geographic Information Systems, or GIS, to lead that charge. GIS ensures stimulus-funded efforts meet the intended goals of creating healthy environments, supporting economic growth, and removing barriers to mobility. Here are five ways that communities can use GIS to align recovery efforts with federal program objectives. The first step is aligning solutions to the recovery. The pandemic heightened awareness of disparities and GIS empowers communities to tackle specific efforts. Modesto, California used federal stimulus funding to address homelessness, upgrading to a web-based system to better track who is being served, where, and how. Number two, meeting diversity and racial equity goals is key, especially for economically disadvantaged cities. Philadelphia expanded its use of GIS to map digital inequities and prioritize the distribution of wireless routers and the creation of mobile hotspots for families most in need. Number three, prioritizing your stimulus funding requires a geographic approach to ensure no one is left behind. Dubuque, Iowa used GIS to make the case for broadband funding and to develop a strategic plan. Number four, monitoring the performance and measuring the impact of your efforts. In Montana, for example, the state created a public geographic hub to show how it's equitably distributing federal stimulus funds. Number five, building a sustainable future using GIS. Communicating plans through a universal language, such as location, helps people understand the climate crisis and impactful solutions. These plans can inspire others to be engaged and help them clearly understand the broader impacts of their actions. Visit ESRI's Aligning with Federal Stimulus Programs page for updates and examples of using GIS to progress the health, economy, infrastructure, and equity of your community.